Hello everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us today. I am going to share my screen. You should be able to see it now. And today we're going to talk about um, how to build a web application from scratch. Like you have basically nothing. Uh, maybe you have uh, your database installed, but there is nothing else. You have uh, our software and you need to quickly build something, upload it to a website, make sure it runs, works, etc. Let's do it. A uh, new project. Okay. Let's call it uh, Dev Club. Uh, it's not original, but I'm. Um, Great. Okay, uh, let's pick MySQL here and let's create a new database uh, on our local machine and new database. I will call it Dev Club as well. Okay. No tables. Let's create some tables. Okay, uh, let's create a simple application. Uh, orders, order details, something really simple uh, because it's not important. We what important is is to pick an ID field that is going to be our increment field that is important, and we will create all field names in lowercase, and we use uh, underscore as a separator. Okay, order ID, uh, we're not going to use any lookup tables or anything. It's going to be really, really simple. Order ID, customer, uh, order date, Uh, it's going to be date and what else and that okay let's do employee the person who made this order happen again we're not going to use any lookup tables we're going just to place all the information right here in these fields so it's not ideal but we just need to create something real quick Okay, that's one table, and another one will be order details. Create new table, order details. Okay. And of course, nobody creates tables from scratch like this. Usually, we deal with something that already exists. But again, we are thinking about a scenario. You need to set something up on a brand new computer maybe or maybe you need to show it to your friends etc okay uh we need to link it to order orders table so that will be order id also integer and for every line item we're going to have products again no lookup tables just uh type in product name here and quantity and price quantity is integer and price is going to be let's do double uh okay this is it uh these are our two tables and we will link them as master details uh save the project build it uh this is all pretty straightforward so no rocket science here click view in browser orders order deals two tables okay let's quickly create a couple of records here add new customer is uh ibm let's imagine we sold something to ibm which is nice and Andrew was the person who handled the transaction. Save it. And another customer is going to be okay, Microsoft.
also today and the play was uh, uh, gendered. Okay, save and uh, no, I did not. Uh, okay, let's uh, add some order details and product. We sold them. I would say we sold them pizza. Wanted to two price eighteen ninety five each. I guess that's one. And let's add something here. So. Coca-Cola wanted it six and price two thirty-nine. Something like this. Okay, that's uh that was easy. Uh so we have a project, it works, it took us I uh, if I'm not mistaken, about five minutes to create a show the product. But it runs on your local machine, it's great. Let's uh upload it somewhere. Let's upload. I will go into. Uh, I will be using our our own uh, web hosting server for this purpose in Spirana. I already have the connection. Let's check the property of this connection, and we will upload it to the folder named Test PHP. Yeah, it's already selected here. Okay. Everything just very simple. Simple FTP connection, upload. And by default, it will upload all files because this is the first time we're uploading something. So let's do it. But it's going to be done soon. And it's going to open that page in the web browser. And as you can imagine, it will not work. OK, done. Perfect. Yeah. And this is really what I expected. So it says access denied for user root. First of all, we don't have our database on the server. Second, uh, if there is a root user on uh, on the server, it's definitely have a different password, and we didn't have any password, if you remember. So let's create our database here. Uh, how to do that? Uh, for uh, there is a bunch of. Uh, different ways to create a database on the server if you use a shared web hosting you can uh, do that via control panel or you can use if it's sql server you will use uh, sql server management studio obviously and here we just use uh, php my admin to create a database and database user so let's see how it can be done uh we go to databases and we create a new one named the uh, dev club Create database was created. Okay, it doesn't have any tables or anything, but it does exist. Okay, uh, now we need to create a user database user. Uh, add new user account. Uh, I'll Dev Club password and type it again. Very simple. Uh, what else? Uh, for simplicity purpose, we just give all the permissions to this user, which you do not normally do. Okay, let's. Okay, no administration, just uh, access to the database and structure. And click go. User account was created. Now let's uh, let's see how we can transfer our tables and data here. Uh, each Verona offers you an option to create a civil script, export structure and data, project tables only. Um, we can do all tables or project tables only. And maximum number of records. Yeah, but here we only have like a couple of records here uh, in both tables. So let's click start. And it creates a very simple, very small SQL file right here. It creates both tables, orders, order details, and inserts data. We just enter it manually. Okay, uh, let's uh, 
what we do, we just copy the whole SQL script and we're going to run it in uh, PHP my admin. It is, uh, we switch to SQL tab, we paste it here. For larger files, you definitely need something different, but uh, for something that is relatively small, you can just copy and paste the whole SQL script and it will create, let's click go. And we can see that in our database, we now have two tables and they both have some data. Perfect. And still, if we try to, uh, no, still no luck. Uh, that's because we also need to modify our database connection. So we go back to PHP Runner. Uh, we go to output directory screen and we create a new database connection. Click new. We will call it web server and we type in our username password and database name is the same so we click ok now we go to upload to ftp and here we select uh, our connection and also upload change files only so it's only going to upload those files that are needed And here it is. Uh, we're running it on the web server and it actually runs. So total time 13 minutes, which is pretty good. Okay, uh, so we made some changes to database structure. We changed the uh, data type and then um, name of the field and we have added another table. So, uh, how do we transfer those database changes to the server? That's uh, the interesting part.